Well, fellas, we had a major windstorm last night. My wife sent me a picture from her run this morning. My trailer with nothing on it, which, you know, normally wouldn't be a problem. Except, we set the hood for 29 on the trailer, and the wind actually picked it up and blew it off of there. Actually, it doesn't even look like it hurt it. Maybe it's better off where it is. <sighs> it's not how you want to start your morning, fellas. Welcome back, you old two stroker YouTube channel. Today we're making a video I really have no interest in making, but <sighs> so the preview. We uh we gotta go pick a hood out of the cabbage. So, let's get to it. We're loaded up side by side. I don't know what we're gonna use. We might use the lull today. Let's go, let's go see. But, here's some of the other damage. Thought maybe you'd like to see that. I, didn't, I just noticed that. No bueno. I'm not too sure what else got hurt, but uh, I'll go see if the lull starts, and uh, we'll go from there. Hey guys, real quick, before we get to today's video, Wife made me another bet, which means someone's going to benefit, and it's probably not me. So, <laughs> she says she could sell more cut-towards-your-body shirts than I can. We do it nice because we do it twice, and you know that's a running theme around here. Show them the goods. Oh, yeah. You guys need that in your life. So you know when you're doing it wrong. Just like me. Today's 21st. We'll do March 21st to April 21st. Uh, you buy a cut towards your buddy shirt, then you're going to go in the cut towards your buddy shirt pool. You buy a do it nice shirt, you're going to go in the do it nice pool. And whichever shirt we sell more of, we're going to pick a, a winner out of that pool. And we'll send you a care package with over 150 bucks worth of stuff in it. So hat, flag, all the good shit. And speaking of all the good shit, I've got a treat for you. Check this out. Get yourself a freaking fruit juice. Oh. Mm. Yeah, and get it into a brand new old two stroker 71 series liner koozie. You guys freaking need these. Available on the website right freaking now. Drink a beer with me. Back to the video. Oh, what an absolute disaster, fellas. We got it running. Every cable in the thing was frozen. I've been out here for like a half hour to torch. Shutdown cable's still frozen. I bypassed it with these pliers and just jam the thing, but I got it running. We gotta let it warm up a while. Those, if the hydraulics are anything like the cables. No bueno, it's like 20 degrees, dude. It rained all day yesterday. And then all of a sudden friggin froze up so last night probably about six o'clock maybe the temperature dropped like a rock dude and it went from like 50 degrees to like 20 and then the wind was insane all night like legit i mean friggin hurricane winds boys friggin shit a cane and I mean, look at, oh, wow, look at all those trees. They're all, like, kind of push over back over there. I don't know. We'll see. See what else I find that's frigged. I'm absolutely frozen. These old two-stroker hoodies. Actually pretty friggin' warm. My face, not so much. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to round up some more shit. And, uh, we'll go from there. I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when we get out there. I got to get chains and some shit to lift that hood with. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet, so bear with me. I'll be back. Boys, everything's fighting me. Just at the time it took me to go in the shop, get, put the tools away and come back out, that cable had refroze already. So we're gonna have to bring the tool with me. By that, I mean the torch, but let's go see what we got. Time to make some heat. Feel it. It's like hella stiff. Uh oh. It's like not going. <laughs> 
all the way. That's a problem. So make sure we ain't burning up training, you know? Yeah, I don't think that's right. Should roll back. It's not going into forward. Boy, I gotta tell you boys, I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. Our e-brake ain't trying to do nothing. This cold. Oh, I just don't know if it's freezing up on me, dude. Son of a bitch. Well, fellas, we made it out here. I had to stop and heat up that friggin' line again. Lay under the machine on the hill. I got that piece of wood in there, so I used that as a wheel chalk. And that seemed to really help. There's a split in that cable right there. I think it's getting water in it. I think the temperature switch is leaking. I think that's what that fluid is. So what I do is I got it jammed in third. Fuck, it's freezing up again. So it lessens the hit on the drivetrain while you're playing with the cable. The downside of this whole deal is there's no there's no freaking heat anywhere under this machine except in the back. And clearly that ain't doing it. So all right, I gotta figure out how the hell I'm gonna pick this thing up. Actually, it looks like maybe I can get my, I got a strap. I could put it here and here. And then I got some lifting hooks. I could probably do that in the on that side too. Let's try that. What's the plan once I get it lifted? That's a really good question. Y'all know me better than I don't have one. All right, boys, I've got it ever so gently picked up. I don't know. Corner of the reinforcements here and the hook on the back. I think that'll do it. Trouble is, I can't tell. I can't tell if anything happened to it or not yet. And the other problem is, we've got to get it. We've got to get it rolled over and onto this pallet again, so that the grill is down. I'm trying to see where the dang Peterbilt album was, and I can't see it.
I'm not sure what I'm just not sure yet I'm kind of hoping I can set this under it like that and then just roll it you know just pick up the backside with the lull and it'll roll onto it I don't know this is like everything is none of this was supposed to happen you gotta somehow get it on the grill I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some more blankets and then go from there all right, I know you can't see nothing. I can't see anything either, so deal with it. We'll try to get some blankets now. We'll try to roll it. You want to set it down on the ground and try to roll it up on? Or do you want to get the edge up on here? gonna want to slam on What's that like? Is it too heavy? works well actually now we can see how bad it is dude right there yeah 
dude, good thing for this support right here. I really think we got pretty lucky, dude. And, I, you know, there's no telling if that was even like that. I gotta look back through videos. Dude, you should polish this thing. Well, yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> this is the only other thing. I don't, I don't know if this was like this. Or if that's fresh. But it looks fixable. Oh, we lost a light. That one's there, the other side, deleted. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah, it's on the trailer. Yeah, yeah there's parts of it. And I, t I found the rest of it underneath the pallet this morning. <laughs> First thing, bro. My wife went to go for a walk. It's like 6 a.m. And sends me a picture of this freaking thing on, uh, in the cabbage. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's something. A little dent right there. Could have been there, I don't know. I don't know, dude, like, it's an old truck, so it wasn't perfect when I got it. That's the only thing, I, I gotta look at that. But, anywho, it's way better than I thought it was gonna be, dude. I figured those panels would be stoved right in, you oh, know? Yeah. yeah, I think you got lucky with this rip. Yeah. I think it did this, though. I really do. I don't see how that could be. I don't see how that could have been there. Maybe. I don't know. Look at the paint right here. Oh. Still look fresh. Well, nothing, none of, I don't know. It's aluminum, so it's hard to tell, you know? Yeah. It always looks fresh. All right, I guess we gotta get it. So here's the thing, I gotta get underneath the lull now and torch the freaking cable again. Boy, I'd love to know if that was like that or I'm sure I'll see that in some of the footage from previously. You know, if that was there or if yeah. that blew off. You're painting the truck anyways. I guess I am now. But I don't see any, like, blue on the ground, yeah. you know? Oh, that shit probably got blown away last night. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I wasn't thinking about that. I forgot it's been on the ground for 24 hours at this point, basically. Yeah, I didn't know what your plan, that's what I thought I you were doing. I don't really I have much of a plan. <laughs> Obviously. Kid, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard. Got it? Yeah. Oh, that doesn't pull very easily. Where's your winch? Your winch work? Yeah, winch works. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Hold up. And I might need your assistance. Okay. Ready? Oh, I see. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, that's gross. Oh, Where is that uh, big round metal uh, hook? Well, but I'll tell you what, it's only going to go so far. Gonna give it a little. There's what we got, fellas. We're winching it. We got a dirt pile here. We gotta get rid of. <laughs> gotta give her a quick one. Freaking Gump is a genius. Uh, I don't know. The problem is that dirt. I gotta let me. Where's that D ring? Where's that metal D ring? In the machine. I think I could use something metal and I could beat that dirt pile out of there. Yeah. We'd be all right. Yeah, it's negative out last night. Yeah. yeah. I don't even need a shovel, bro. I mean, it could be a lot worse. At least it didn't, like, hit one of the other trucks or... Push and I'll pull. You ready? No. There you go. We're gonna give her a half a inch more. Yeah, I'll suck it right tight to the trailer. Yeah. And then we'll just uh. Yeah. Just one strap around it, done and done, right? Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Absolutely not. What's it gonna do? Blow over? Ah. Bring her in. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Bring her in. Bring her in. Go more. Oh, oh, you're, you're there. So you you strap your tire down over there, but you don't strap your hood down. What? Strap your tire down, but you don't strap your hood down. <laughs> Why do I want the tire to blow away? All right, boys. Friggin' neighbor kid's genius. Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? I can't believe we got away with that. I don't even think it bent that. It's got some ice on it. Dude, talk about lucky. I would rather be lucky than good any day of the week. Sick. All right, oh, I need my phone. <laughs> I can't believe it didn't mess it up at all. You can see where it friggin' landed. Look at the, look at the hood. There's, there's the emblem. Look at the slats from that reinforcement. Wow. Lucky, dude. Lucky. All right, boys, that's gonna do it for this one. Got about as lucky as a guy can get. Two ways. One, I got good friends. Freaking neighbor kid. What a treat. And two, uh, hood's not damaged. Cadillac Much. episode. He really wants to see it. Cadillac that. episode. I'll consider it. I'll, I'll make one just for him. I'll send it to him. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, if it's zero degrees where you are and you want to be warm, get yourself an old two-stroke hoodie. I didn't have a coat on the whole time. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Huge shout out to the patrons. Greatly appreciate you guys. I want to make mention, we're going to be at Onaway and have a vendor booth this year. And we're doing an exclusive uh, Krusty Fat Cab t-shirt and hoodie. So make sure you guys pop in and see us for that. Uh, if we have any left after the event, they will be available on the website. But otherwise, it's going to be a show exclusive. So hopefully we'll see you there and you can pick up a t-shirt or a hoodie and support Jason the Fat Cab. 50% of the proceeds are going to go towards his racing program. So, greatly appreciate you guys. 
Thanks again. We'll see you next time.